Hello Oilers fans, Austin here with a quick news update. I know most of my content the last few days has not been Oilers related. I've been focusing on the other playoff series just because this uh, Canucks Edmonton series is taking quite a while to get going. We still have to wait until tomorrow, which is Wednesday for game one, which is very unfortunate because everyone else has been able to get their second round started, but that's okay. Uh, in today's news update though, I did want to quickly talk about Adam Henrique. It does sound like he will not be able to go tomorrow against the Canucks. And right now, Matias Yanmark is kind of rotated in on that top line, but I will go through the projected lineup. And then another thing I wanted to mention is Connor McDavid was uh, nominated for the Hart Trophy. He, Nathan McKinnon, and Nikita Kucherov were all nominated, and I just wanted to mention that because obviously Connor McDavid on the Empton Oilers wanted to make sure that I mentioned that in the news update. And of course, tonight is the draft lottery in the NHL. So tonight we're going to discover which team will uh, get the opportunity to choose Macklin Celebrini number one overall. Uh, Macklin Celebrini is the consensus number one overall pick heading into June's draft. So uh, it'll be very exciting whichever team manages to win the lottery and get that opportunity. If Utah manages to win the uh, lottery tonight, I'm going to assume that there was some shenanigans and I think everyone should be investigated. Uh, with that out of the way though, let's get into the Oilers projected lineup for game one against the Vancouver Canucks. So right now, it is Yanmark with McDavid and Hyman. We have Nugent Hopkins with Dreisaitl and Kane. Dylan Holloway with Ryan McLeod, Corey Perry. Warren Fogle with... Um Derek Ryan and Connor Brown, and then Sam Carrick as the extra forward. Now, Carrick and Ryan, they do rotate on that fourth line center position. Uh, you can see Carrick starting over Ryan, vice versa. And of course, Connor Brown, it does sound like he will be in the lineup. And Matias Yanmark, uh, he's just kind of a placeholder on line one. I do expect multiple players to be rotated on that first line as the game progresses. I expect Fogel to get shifts up there. I expect Holloway to get shifts up there. And I even expect Nugent Hopkins to get a shift or two up there as well. Just just while we're waiting to figure out what's going on with Adam Henrique, it sounds like it is an ankle issue. Um, I don't think it's overly serious, but it is serious enough that uh, Henrique has not been able to skate or uh, be part of the main practice group for quite some time now for the Oilers. So hopefully he's able to rest up, heal that quickly because Adam Henrique, even though he's not scoring goals, uh, his play away from the puck was terrific against the Kings. I really did like his game and I really feel like every game that he plays, he finds a way to get better and better. So that'll be a big loss for Edmonton. Hopefully the boys can step up and we can get some depth scoring and everyone can kind of chip in while he's out of the lineup. Defense pairs, nothing has changed. It'll be Echo with Bouchard, Nurse with CeCe, Kulak with DRNA, and Stuart Skinner is projected to get the start. Now, a uh, quick reminder, I will be live streaming all of the Oilers second round games. The live streams have been so much fun. I've had an absolute blast. I was going to live stream the Bruins and Panthers game one last night. However, I had some internet issues that prevented me from doing that. But uh, if you want to see other live streams of other series, please let me know. Uh, I'm happy to create more content and do live streams. I love watching hockey. I I love the playoffs. I watch so much. I watch literally every single game. So just uh, let me know if there's anything else that you want to see from me. As always, if you like these videos and you want to see more, make sure you hit like. If you really liked it, make sure you hit subscribe. Tell some friends and family if you want, and also tell someone that you love them. All right. I will see you tomorrow for the pregame report for Edmonton and Vancouver in game one. Let's go Oilers.